Today we're going to talk about color grading. It's important to color grade your footage, especially when you are shooting in a flat lock profile. Otherwise your footage might look washed out and not that great. When I first started color grading, I was kind of scared of this whole topic because I had no clue in what to do or where to start. But over the past few months and watching countless of videos online and practicing every day, I started to really enjoy this process. Now, it's also very important to choose the correct picture profile when shooting your videos. I shoot all of my videos on my Sony a6300 and after testing many picture profiles, Profiles, I think I found the one that works the best. This profile would work on most of the Sony cameras that can shoot in S-Log2 and the settings that I'm using I found on Peter Lindgren's YouTube. So let's have a look at the settings first. Right, so you can see it's fairly simple to input these settings in your camera. Just one quick tip, when shooting in S-Log2, you have to remember to overexpose. Now, I like to expose to the right and I would show you on this graph how you should do it. You can see the graph is going to the right and it's not close to the left side. I always try to keep it somewhere in the middle and on the way to the right. You have to overexpose in S-Log2, so don't be afraid when doing it this way. Now, on my second part when it comes to color grading, and this one is also very important for me, LUTs. LUTs are important when you're trying to create a certain look or style. And once again, I'm using Peter's LUTs for this. You can go onto his website and you can buy them. And I must say they are relatively cheap and it works the best for, again, when I use these profile settings. So now that you know some of the basics of color grading, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and I will show you my way of how I like to color grade. Just remember, this is my way and I'm not saying my way is the best or the most correct way. This is just the easiest way for me how I like to color grade my footage. Okay, so I'm just going to open up DaVinci Resolve and this is DaVinci Resolve 16. Now these are all of my clips that I took. It was about two weeks ago at the Temple of Literature here in Hanoi. So let's open up our color tab. I'm just gonna delete or reset these notes. Okay, so we're starting off with our first note. First of all, I can see it does look a little bit on the bluish side, so it's looking a bit cold. Now, a quick tip, I like using curves when I'm doing my color correction. So you find something that is white, you click on it, and then you can see my red is down way below, my blue is above the green. So what you want to do is you de-link those ones. You start with your red, you can drag it all the way up there until it reaches the same level as the green one. And then we drag down our blue one. And this is on our first node. I'm just going to close the gallery there so we can get a bigger view. Okay, now I can see it is looking a bit red now. So I'm just going to control F full screen so you can see it's yeah it's looking a bit red it's a bit too hot right now so I'm just gonna go to my temperature I'm gonna down that just a little bit having a look on my parades uh, let's do minus 500 or minus 490 now that's looking a bit better now when I was shooting this it was slightly overcast now the next one that I would like to do is I'm going to start dragging down my shadows or my lift. So I'm going to drag it down until it touches just above that zero line. Okay. I'm going to up my gain a little bit there. Just make it a bit brighter. 
I think that should be, yeah, that's looking good now. Okay, control F, full screen, let's have a look. So this is just a panning shot or opening scene. Okay, I'm liking that. Now coming back to our LUTs. So first of all, I'm gonna create another serial node. You press Alt S, there we have our serial node. I'm gonna go over to my key outputs. I'm gonna bring down my output to let's say 0.4. Okay, remember we are working on our second node now. I'm gonna open up my LUTs and these are Peter Lindgren's LUTs. Now my two favorite LUTs from him is the Gothenburg is one of them. And I really like using the split one. And the split one makes the greens, I'll add my split one there and you can see what I mean with the greens. It makes them a little bit yellowish, which I like. It's just again, my preferred style. Now let's have a look at our before. Okay. And now with the, the LUT on, this is our after. And now that to me is looking perfect. I like it. Let's just play it. So you can see that took us less than two minutes to create our first clip. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a grab or I'm gonna grab a still from this. And you will see why I did it. I'm just gonna reset all of these ones. You can see there's quite a lot of clips. Not sure if we're gonna go through all of them. Just gonna reset all of my grades and nodes so that I can show you my process on the next one. Okay, let's close our LUTs. Let's close our clips view. And let's have a look at this clip. Now, this is also a nice panning one. Okay, so now let's go over to our gallery and let's use our screen grab. We're gonna drag it on there. And have a look at it. <clears throat> now this is our after and this is our before. That's the after one. Now this one is slightly warm. So the only correction that I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to my first node. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna make it a bit cooler. Just drag down that temperature. Okay, I'm liking that. Yeah, that looks great. I might down my shadows a bit as well. You can see it's sitting a bit high over there. So let's just go to our lift. Let's drag it down a bit more. And let's just drag our gain down also a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, let's have a look now. Okay, that's looking great. I'm very happy with that. Let's just show our before, and this is our after. Again, I spent about less than two minutes on this clip. So basically what I'm gonna start doing now is I will repeat this process and I will just make very minor adjustments. So that one, let's close our gallery. Let's control F, full screen. Okay. This is just a nice static shot. I'm very happy with that. I'm not even gonna do anything on this clip. Okay, 20 seconds. Let's have a look at our next one. Control F, nice one, people walking in. Okay, so let's drag over our screen grab. Open it up, Control F. Let's have a look now, before and our after. I'm kind of happy with that as well. I am liking this. Okay, let's repeat the same process. Let's drag over our grab, control F. This one, I can see some reds coming in there. So what I will do is go to my first node, just gonna down, drag the temperature slightly down. Okay, I might also drag down my lift on this one, and I'll up the gain a little bit. I can see it's clipping, but that's just from the sky, so that, that's perfectly normal. Okay, control F, full screen. Let's play and see what's happening here. Okay, that's good, liking this. This clip, by the way, was shot later in the afternoon, just before five. Okay, let's 
do the same process again. Let's drag it over. It's coming in a bit too hot for me, so I'm gonna go over to my first node once again. And I'm just gonna drag it slightly down. The most important thing for me here is to make your minor adjustments. Okay, control F. I'm liking that. I might up the gain just a tiny bit. And I might down my left, just like that. Okay, control F. Let's press play. Good. Okay, our before, our after. Good. Let's hop on over to the next one. This is one of my favorite clips. Okay, drag it over, go over to our first node. This one also is a bit too much red for me as we can see here in our parade. So I will just drag down that temperature. Okay, good. Control F, let's have a look at this clip. Okay, it's a bit too exposed or bright. So I'm just gonna go down to my gain. Just drag it down a bit more. This shot again was shot at around 1 p.m. So there's different clips of different times. Okay, and it was still slightly overcast when I was shooting this. So I'm still just on my gain. I'm gonna down my lift also a bit more. Okay. Let's just see what that looks like. All right, that's looking perfect. Liking those ones, cool. Now just repeat the same process. So now I'll drag it over again. Now I can see a slightly purple offset here. So I'll go to my first node. I'll bring down that temperature to 560. Then I'm gonna open up my curves and I'm just gonna drag down, make sure it's not linked. So you wanna delink it, drag down that red, just to push up the blues a bit more. Okay, like that. And go over to my color wheels, open up. You can have a look, let's see what's wrong with this one. Okay, I think we can up the exposure here. Let's go over to our gain. Up it a bit more. Yes, 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 like that. I'm gonna down my left, drag it down, just like that. Let's have a look now at this clip again. Much better. So you see what I mean with minor adjustments? Just small tweaks. Go over. I would say let's do two more clips, number 11 and number 12. So number 11, let's add up and Straight away, I can see it's a bit warm. Just gonna cool it down a bit. And I'm gonna drag up my gain a lot, as I can. And drag down the left, just a tiny bit. It's the gain again. Oh, it's a bit too bright. Okay, just like that. Let's play the clip. All right, all right, all right. This is looking good. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, very happy with that. Our last clip, let's have a look there. So we can see in our scopes, it's a bit, yeah, okay, let's first do this. Okay, it's a bit too warm. Track down a temperature. I'm just looking at the, the walls as well. You can see here the walls are like almost turning yellowish, but as I'm making it cooler getting that blue tint back okay also important when we are working with skin tones you can always open up your vector scope and then you have a look at that skin line or skin tone indicator line <clears throat> but that's only when you are working with skin tones for this one i'm not going to focus that much on this because i'm actually happy with the look on this clip now my next one, I will up my gain a bit more, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna bring that lifts down and let's play the clip. And I'm happy with this clip because it was an overcast day. 
just to remind you again. Okay, those walls, oof, those walls are bright. <laughs> Let's bring the offset down a bit more. Okay, the gain can come down. Let's have a look at our highlights here. Uh, yes, that's good. Okay, just up the gain a bit more. I'm gonna up my gamma for the skin tones to come out a bit more. Okay, control F full screen, let's play. It's looking good, I'm liking that. Okay, let's play, walk in, cool. Okay, let's have a look at the before. Let's have a look at our after. Cool, so hopefully all of this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. I will be happy to answer all of them. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week Wednesday.